In a world that sometimes likes to focus on just negativity, I like to take a second each day to find one good thing. Today's good thing, United Airlines. Yesterday there was a big uproar on United Airlines because they didn't let a 10 year old girl on their flight because she was wearing leggings. Now, when presented like that, yes, obviously there should be an uproar. However, there's details behind this that don't get posted on the headlines of these articles. First of all, and most importantly, this 10 year old girl was flying on an employee pass, which allowed her to fly free, assuming she followed certain regulations. Now, obviously, if you're paying $400 for a ticket, you can wear whatever you want. You can put saran wrap on and drizzle yourself in syrup for all I care. However, there's very strict specifications that you have to follow if you're going to use this pass on United Airlines or any other airlines. The reason being is you are representing that airline as a potential employee when you sit in that seat. So you have to be looked at professionally. Yes, I know people aren't going to assume that a 10 year old is a professional working for the airline, but still the rules need to be followed and they're very clearly laid out. Now some people are saying, well, those rules are outdated. Well, that's a whole different argument. Maybe they are and maybe United will look at those now, but however, right now, those are the rules. Others are saying, well, the only reason leggings would be inappropriate is if you sexualize leggings, and therefore you're sexualizing a 10 year old girl. No, that's not the case. You're not sexualizing her, you're professionalizing her. There's a difference. My aunt's a flight attendant, I talked to her today before I made this video, and she told me they won't even allow people onto the airplane sitting in that professional seat if they have sandals without socks on or ripped jeans. That's not a sexualization thing, that's a professionalization thing. It seems like once a year there's always a big viral video about school uniforms too, and it kind of falls under the same argument. Somebody gets detention or has to go home and change because they're wearing too revealing of clothing, make a big fuss about it, the internet gets on their back and says, yeah, those rules are terrible. However, before the school year even starts, that student and their parents have to sign something saying they will follow this dress code. Simple as that, they agree to it, so just follow it. It's a whole nother issue if you disagree what the dress code should be. However, in these situations, they've already agreed to follow the dress code. So my good thing for the day is United sticking by their guns and backing up their policy and saying, yeah, they didn't follow the rules, sorry about it. Yeah, it's an unfortunate situation. I hope that 10 year old girl got to where she needed to get in a timely manner. And yeah, if I was responsible for that 10 year old getting from point A to point B, I would probably be mad too and I would probably want to point fingers. But from my perspective, this wasn't a time where it was a big injustice. Last day is one good thing. It's a kind of good thing today, I don't know. It's more of a... I don't know what that was. If you can think of any other one good things, leave a comment below or send me an email at the link in the description. I'm Luke, and I'll see you tomorrow.